Good morning. This is Roy from Grandmama Rose's uh, Open Pantry. And uh, it's been three weeks since we've done anything on our channel. Just like to explain why we lost a grandson, a 30 year old grandson, three weeks ago. And Grandma Rose just has not been able to do anything as far as getting on the video. And the reason I'm saying this to you instead of Grandma is because she still can't talk about it. So, in a few minutes, we're going to start a video. We've been to the garden. We've gathered some squash. And so she's going to do some squash cooking this morning and uh, uh, for the first time in three weeks so we can get back to our routine of making videos. And thank you for your prayers and thank you for your concern. And we appreciate it. Where are you going, Grandmama? To the squash patch. To the squash patch. Okay, yep. here we go. Pass the strawberries, and there's red strawberries along in there. Okay. Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and the sun is in your eyes. The sun is in my it's eyes. A bright but sunny that's day. Okay. And this is my basket that we gather our veggies in, and we're picking our squash. Hey, don't today. pick them so fast. I can't get them on camera. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, can you get down in here? Yeah, I, I can sort of get down in there. Okay. It's so bright, I can't really see what you're doing much, yeah, but that's all right. Okay, there's we'll get one. It. I think there's one over here. There is. But I'm going to leave it because it's not quite big enough and it'll be good tomorrow. Okay. Or later this afternoon. Sometime we have to pick them in the mornings and the afternoon, but it's about lunchtime now, so. All right. Okay. We picked them pretty close the other day, but uh, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful squash. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, here's another one. Show them this one, honey. Down in there. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving it because tomorrow mm -hmm. it'll be just right. Okay. I could go ahead and pick it today, but since we pick them every day, now this is a little bit bigger than what I like. It's a great frying squash. But it's a great frying squash. So I'll fry that one. And even though it's big, Roxy, get back here. Roxy likes to go to the front. Uh, even though it's big, it's not a real mature squash because We've had a lot of rain, and they just grow fast. So, um, it's not a squash that's too old or anything. Okay. Now, we used to uh, own a farm. And on our farm, we had 100 acres of squash. Ooh. And we... <laughs> And we truck farmed. We contracted them with a plant in uh, in Eastman. And so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. I could have left it till tomorrow. But these are good stewing squash or stir fry. I'm going to go in and show you how I stir fry some. And how I use these big ones to just fry. So I think that's it until tomorrow. And... Then we'll pick some more tomorrow. So see you inside. It is now. Okay. What have you got? <laughs> Y'all, this is Ella. We're going to cook her for how? Bake no, her or fry? We're babysitting. We've been babysitting since Thursday. This is Promise. It's a little dog. Her name is Ella. And we just love her. And uh, if y'all hear a little yip, a little dog, and not Roxy, it's Ella. So, Roxy, you're taking this Ella stuff pretty good, aren't you, girl? <laughs> Doesn't bother you, does it? So, okay. Promise is supposed to pick her up later today, but I just wanted her in the video because she's one of my great grands. So, <laughs> well, we got to stop and let you wash your hands. I'm we? fixing to. She's Promise's baby. So, I wanted to get her in the video. So, I've been doing a lot of cooking today. Cody, 
uh, our uh, one of our grandsons is home from the Air Force. He's home on leave. So I baked a ham and uh, I've got it in here. Uh, I have got, I've made some cornbread. I've got some white acre peas back or cream 40 peas back here. I've got a white bean salad in the refrigerator, which is absolutely delicious. I'm, I'll do a video on it a little bit later. And I'm going to stew some squash or stir fry some squash. And then I'm going to fry some squash. And I've already got my squash cut up and seasoned. And as you can see, I'm letting them drain in this colander. Uh, I just put them, put a bowl under them and just let them drain and then i'll put a little buttermilk on them they've got salt pepper garlic powder onion powder and cayenne pepper on them so i'm just gonna sit them over here and i'm turning my little cooker on 350 degrees i cook it in my little fry daddy over there and i just leave it out because i fry squash when it's squash season about every day or every other day real because, real yeah. old men who are truly he men yeah like i am yeah love flight flied squash fried squash <laughs> so uh and this is my gluten-free cornbread i've showed y'all how i made it before but i i cooked all of this because uh i don't ever know when uh cody's gonna be here and his little boy kale and elena so I'm just going to have plenty of food in the refrigerator so when they come, then I'll have a lot to feed them. So I'm going to turn my burner on here. And I've got one large squash cut up. I mean, one large onion cut right here. And as you can see, I cut it in kind of big chunks uh, because I'm going to stir fry my onions in with the my squash. secret to... Stir, stirred fried squash is lots onions of, lots of onions that's right now i'm going to take these smaller squash this is one big one right here that i've cut up but i'm all i do is i just cut them when i go when i'm going to stir fry them now if i stew them down i'll cut them in smaller chunks and i'll cook them for a long time and i'll kind of get them brown but today I'm just stir frying them. So there's a some people I guess would call this stewed, but stewing stewed squash to me is just cooking them down and cooking them a long time and just kind of getting them brown. So uh, since I'm frying squash, I'm not going to stir fry that many today because we're going to have more squash tomorrow and more the next day and more the next day. So there's no reason to cook a whole lot at one time. Okay. And, and there's a rule. Never, ever serve squash that are not seasoned. No. Do not mm -hmm. do that. That's inhumane to humanity. <laughs> mm. You've got to salt, pepper, and onion as a minimum. You do. And I always do a little uh, garlic and onion powder in mine. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And so I'm going to season them once I get them in the pan because usually I'll cut them up in a big pan so I can season them. But today I didn't. I just got it in this little uh, pie plate right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in there. And I'm turning it on like high because I want it to get, uh, get hot quickly. Gracious, Grandma. This is cruelty. Showing cornbread. And stew and squash at the same I know. I in know. the same frame. That's cool. Now put salt. Now you have to be careful. You either squash are very easy to get over salted. And this is some sea salt that I had, and it was coarse sea salt. So I put it in my little processor and I ground it up. So I haven't learned how to cook with it yet. Under season. I'm going to under season, yeah. And season again at the end. And then if I need to add more salt, I will. That was like probably, um, and it's easy, very easy to get too much black pepper. I don't know why. 
but squash picks up the black paper, uh, black pepper flavor and the heat from the black pepper. I well, squash think. doesn't have a strong flavor. No. So if you put too much seasoning of any if kind of there, you would be overriding. Much, wouldn't you? If you put too much black pepper, yeah. they're going to be spicy. So, all right, I'm just going to let them, I'm going to put some, this is garlic. That's probably fourth of a teaspoon and maybe fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. Any bacon grease? No, I've got olive oil and butter okay. in the bottom. All right. A lot of times I do use bacon grease, but today I decided to use olive oil and butter. So, all right. I'm just, it's going to take these a minute to come up to, to temp. Now my squash are going to uh, shrink a little bit. They're going to cook down. And my onions, and oh, it's going to be so good. But I'm going to try to do them on like a medium high heat the whole time. I'm going to turn them down in just a minute uh, because I want them to stir fry and not not stew. So I'll be back uh, as soon as these start cooking. And I'm not going to put a lid on them. If I was stewing them, I would put a lid on them. But since I'm stir frying them, I'm not going to put a lid on them. So, all right. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Come Where are we at now, Grandma? Okay, this is my uh, fried fry squash that I'm stir frying right here. And I've got it down on six. I left it on eight until I got it to where it's hot enough. So now I'm just kind of stir frying them. And see. by leaving the top off, you don't collect any liquid in the bottom. Right. You just sort no, of keep you it. Don't. You, you yeah, want to stir fry, it. not mm -hmm. boiling. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, these are the squash that uh, I have already seasoned. Back up a little bit, baby. Buttermilk, buttermilk, buttermilk. <sighs> yep. I was about to forget. I always coat them just a little bit. Now, you will see, I don't put the like two tablespoons is all I put on it. You're not wanting a real thick coating, no. are you? Mm -mm. And then I just take and I. Oh, they're loving that buttermilk. Look at them. I know. They're just <laughs> hollering and shouting and diving yep. in. All right. Mm. Now, in here, I have plain cornmeal, salt. Now, remember, I've already seasoned my squash really well, but I always put a little bit more salt in my, uh, in my mixture. This is gluten-free flour plain cornmeal, and salt, okay? And my grease is hot, so what I do, and this is some cornmeal. If I have any left, I'll always put it in a little Ziploc bag, and I'll use it the next time. But I wanted to show y'all how I mixed it, so I'll just use that tomorrow or whatever. Okay, so I just take and stir my squash up good. In my mixture here and I just leave my grease in my uh, little fryer here and about every three days I strain it because some of this uh, coating does come off in the bottom so and I just put my squash in there and I don't know about y'all I'm a number person. I count. <laughs> it's crazy. Roy said I'm crazy. But I'll count how many pieces I put in there. So usually I put about 25 or 30 pieces in. But most people wouldn't even, wouldn't even think to do that. But that's just me. I'm a number person. I count. So, now you can do this by slicing them thin into discs. Or in these little cubes like you've primed. Yes. Now we like them better. I like them better in the cube because they're crusty on the outside and soft in the middle. If you if you cut them in a little thin slices, they're more like chips. I like them both ways. And we do them both ways. So just ever how you prefer them. Mostly I just like them cooked by the time the meal is on the table. I know. <laughs> and they are, by the way, they are better hot. But they're also delicious cold. When she leaves them on the stove, they always disappear between meals. Yes, they do. 
Okay. I'm going to stir my... All right, do you see that? You see how it's beginning to get a little brown right there? Mm hmm And they're beginning to get soft. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. Right there. So, all right. You just want them caramelized somewhere. Right? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm going to continue to fry my squash and stir fry my squash. And it won't take us long now. We'll be eating. All right. This is Roy's plate. That's cream 40 peas. That's white bean salad, fried squash, stir fried squash, cornbread, and spiral ham. Now, he is about to let us know. I'm going to taste of this bean salad. The bean salad. Mm -hmm. bean salad. It's delicious, folks. It's the first time I've ever fixed it, but I'm going to be making it again for mm. y'all on video. Mm. It's got white beans and onions and uh, waxed Pepper. yellow beans, uh, peppers, mm. uh, different seasonings, mm. and cucumbers. That's yep. what all it has in it. Okay, and we don't normally eat two, two kinds of squash, but she was doing it for demonstration yeah. this morning. Yeah. But this is the... Oh my. Mm. Crunchy on the outside, soft mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm. Peas. A little piece of cornbread. <laughs> and mm -hmm. all this is gluten free now and no sugar added. So This is a, this is a hard job, but somebody's got to do somebody's it. Somebody's you know? got to do it. That's mm -hmm. right. And then you get these, these onions and stewed squash here. No, stir fried squash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's edible. Mm. 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 Oh, okay, y'all heard it from somebody that loves food. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Okay. Wonderful. Thank y'all for joining me. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for joining me today in our squash patch and uh, cooking up our squash. So. We will see y'all next time. Thank you for joining me. And remember, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. I love y'all. I'll see you next time. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. Mm.